And while demonstrators hit the streets in many different places, some felt the protests were not as huge and more well-behaved than they were expecting. But as Andrea Nakano shows us, the people who did hit the streets had a message, many messages, that they wanted to be heard. The streets of San Francisco have calmed down a bit at this hour. California Highway Patrol officers lined Battery Street earlier as President Biden made his way from a reception back to his hotel. This after a very eventful day, which included a meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping. Third Street in San Francisco was lined with protesters. Charles was one of those in this crowd. He says he moved to Los Angeles in hopes of finding a better life for him and his family. So many problems in China, you know? Charles was joined by protesters taking a stand against the Chinese Communist Party. He says the CCP limits basic human rights. We didn't have any freedom in speech, in uh, news, and, uh, you know, internet. Just across the street, a fierce contingent of CCP supporters made sure their message was heard. We are here to show our love for China, to support President Xi's visit, to support all pack, uh, APEC uh, president. We wish China well, we wish President Xi well, and we wish the whole Chinese people well. Protesters were scattered throughout the Bay Area on Wednesday. Here at the foot of Broadway on the Embarcadero, a call for Palestinian rights and a ceasefire in Gaza. At each protest, there was heavy security. Officers from several different law enforcement agencies lining up in riot gear and trying to keep the protest peaceful. Charles says he wasn't encouraged with the meeting between President Biden and President Xi Jinping on Wednesday. He fears China will not truly be a free country until there are concrete changes in politics. China really needs uh, democracy and uh, China needs a new party.